Cinco Dudas Kids! Today's topic Myopia Miss Buster. I don't know about that. Oh, no. <laughs> false. I don't think so. It yeah. helps. False, false. Yeah. True. Yes. False. True. I think it's true. I think it's Eating true. carrots is good. Uh, I think it's just it's something good. my mom always said. True. <laughs> true. False. false. I don't know. At the present moment, it is false because there's no scientific evidence. There are many ongoing studies now on diet, but none of them have proved that diet is directly related to myopia as yet. There is no evidence to show that diet can prevent myopia. However, if you are deficient in vitamin A, carrots can correct your night blindness. Although the diet doesn't help, eating a healthy, balanced diet maintains good health and uh, prevents obesity. I don't know. True. True. False. False. There are many studies that evaluate eye massages in children in schools. However, there's no evidence to show that eye massages or eye exercises can prevent myopia. Further research is needed in this area. Helps prevent myopia. True? True. Yes. True. True. I don't know. True. False, there's no evidence for that from any scientific study. Children should spend more time outside and play amidst a green surrounding. Looking at greenery does not really prevent myopia, but it, it helps if you are engaging in near work, like looking at your iPad for the past 40 minutes. You can look up to look at the greenery. That is it's not greenery that prevents myopia, but more like relaxing your eye and looking at something in the distance. True. 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 Uh, true. It's true. Children should spend more time outside to prevent myopia. Emerging evidence has shown that sunlight causes dopamine, uh, which is a chemical in the retina, to be secreted. And this prevents elongation of the eyeball. And therefore, you can delay the onset of myopia. Sun protected outdoors is advisable. Children should uh, bring a water bottle and drink water. Um, exercising in the shade may be advisable if the sun is very hot and putting on sunscreen. If a child can spend more than two to three hours outdoors on a weekday, that may prevent myopia onset as well as myopia progression. Well, he gets his outdoor play in school every day for about an hour. When he comes home, um, outdoor probably about 15, half an hour. Exactly two hours. <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> 2.01 hours. Just to be on the safe side. Our latest studies have found that Singapore children spend very little time outdoors compared to children in other parts of the world. We conducted a study of uh, six-year-old Chinese children in Singapore and in Sydney and we found that the rate of myopia was 29% in Singapore Chinese children but only 3% in Sydney Chinese children. And one of the main reasons is that Sydney Chinese children spend 14 hours per week outside of school, outdoors, whereas Singapore Chinese children only spend 3 hours per week outside of school, outdoors. Myopia is a huge public health problem in Singapore as well as Asia. There's an epidemic of myopia in Asia and the rates of myopia are increasing in Asia as well as worldwide. We encourage children to spend more time outside to prevent the onset of myopia as well as the progression of myopia. If children spend about two to three hours outdoors per day on a weekday and four to five hours outdoors per day on a weekend, the rates of myopia will decrease in the country. 